Well, thank you all again for joining me today. I've got something really fun in store today. And here comes my helper, so we're going to pull the boat off the trailer. And the motor off the boat. And I'm going to show you guys this damage. Okay, so now that the boat's off the trailer, I could show you guys the damage. And it's not pretty. As you guys can see, the whole floor has come undone. Okay. Well, here's your floor. And here's your speed tube compartment. This is gonna be fun. Still, but she's coming off anyways. I'm not gonna have do one side and have the other side come off. Well, I got it clean, and looks like I peed myself, but we all know it's just a wash. So as you guys can see, I'm going to have to pull up the heat gun and I'm going to do delamination of the tube here and once we got this delaminated on the inside you'll be able to see how bad the floor is but you can kind of tell that this is what's holding the floor in now so it's a lovely day in the neighborhood today there's the rooster okay so Got the boat outside here. I'm gonna let the sun heat this bottom up here so this glue will just come off nicely. So, the sun can either be your best friend on these boats or it could be your worst enemy. And in this case, when you're fixing them, it's becoming my best friend. So, the reason why it's my best friend is the glue is uh, getting all nice and heated up from the sun. And it's making this uh, job a little bit more easier to pull these tubes off so I can fix this floor. Let's start uh, doing some more work here.
All right, so now that I can walk around here, I can start to do some cleaning up here and get ready to glue this floor back into place. Yes, face. She came undone all by itself. So yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Glue the top edges first, and then I'll flip it over and do the inside boat stuff after this. And the reason for that is because the inside is already still connected on there. Maybe not there, but over there. And it at least is a little bit lined up a bit better if it's that way, so. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll peel the inner pieces here and I'll glue those in and Bob's your uncle. I've got an uncle Bob. Do you? Alright, as you guys can see, I've got everything all prepped up here, getting ready to do the glue. Uh, you're probably asking why I've got the ratchet strap here. Well, as you can see, a little bit of gapping inside of here. So, when I start applying the glue, I'm going to start tightening up those straps. And this thing should be very nicely tightly together. So I've got all the glue pretty much taken out now. I just got to just do some final removals in some of these areas. But yeah, almost all ready to put some glue, do some glue on the floor back. All right, so I'm just getting this last section of the floor all glued up so we can lay it into place. And then I can flip it over and start doing these inners, inner mounts. All right, so now, now we just gotta do this stuff. Get this front piece glued, lined up nicely. I'm gonna take something to kind of push this down. Yeah, I guess that'll work. All right, let's get this part glued.
All right. The floor is in. Now I just got to do those inner mounts. Okay, so as you guys can see, I made some bigger pads here to replace these worn-out factory ones. So yeah, get this all glued up and done here, and then I will do these speed tubes. Well, day two, and uh, the floor is in. As you guys can see, I did a little bit of off-camera work here. So what I'm gonna, is I'm gonna, well, as you can see, I already did this side. Just gonna clean up all the old glue on this. And on the edges there. Yeah, I did one side. The other side done and I can start gluing. Boy oh boy do I love my job. Well, talking is not gonna get it done, so.
Yeah, I make it look easy, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? Just take your time. Uh, make sure you're dealing with clean surfaces. Uh, always wear protective gloves and stuff. Uh, always work in a well-ventilated area. And you know what? You should be good. As you can see, I did it all in sections there. And uh, she turned out pretty good. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you uh, hit that like button. I've got some yappy geese over there. But yeah, make sure you hit that like button and uh, stay tuned. I'm planning on doing some more fun stuff with you guys. Stay safe and uh, happy boating, everybody.